sneak beneath it. Hmm. I thought security was gonna be tight. Okay, for our start today, Xenia Manager Xbox 360 emulation setup guide. If you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll be notified every time I release a new setup guide and it really helps out my channel too. So we're looking at Xenia Manager today and for a long time, Xenia Xbox 360 emulators look pretty dull, but this is where it changes and we can really make Xenia look really awesome now and it even shows us which games we've got so what we're going to do first of all is just head over to this github page and as we can see this is currently on version 1.8.0 as a recording this video if we just left click on that one what we're going to do next is just scroll downwards and we're going to download xenium underscore manager dot zip so i've already downloaded this and it's actually on my desktop if we just take a look what's inside we got a couple of files in here we got xenia manager executable and we got a dot dll file what i'm going to do is right click on my desktop new folder and i'm going to just call this one xenia now what i'm going to do with these two files is just literally drag and drop those inside so once they're inside we can now delete that xenia manager zip which we've downloaded I'm going to go into that Xenia folder and I'm going to create a new folder in here. So right click new folder and I'm going to just call this one games. Now for this setup guide, I've got perfect dark zero, which I'm pretty sure was a launch release with the 360 back in the day. So here we go. It's now inside. And as you can see, that's in .iso format. Now we're going to open up Xenia manager .exe. Windows protected your PC. Just go to more info and run anyway. Okay, so here we go. So this is Xenia Manager, and as you can see, this is very different from the regular Xena. So we can install Xenia Stable, and we can also install Xenia Canary. We can actually install both. If we left click on Install Xenia Stable, and here we go. So that's already now been installed. Okay, what we're gonna do next then is add a game. So if we just make sure we're on the home, go to Add Game, and this should take us into our Xenia folder or directory. If I just left click on my games folder and left click on my game, open. And here we go. So it's identified the version of my game. As we can see, this says Xbox Marketplace just here. If I left click on my game and here we go, it's now added into the manager. If I right click on this, I've got different options per game. Now, I've only got one game for this setup guide, but of course you can add as many games as you want into this. We can even right click and go to open compatibility page so we can actually see people's reports on this particular game and if it's working or not. Now, what I'm going to do next is just left click on settings and what we can do from here is go to open Xenia and store and I'm going to also install Xenia Canary. Just left click again. And here we go. Now we got Xenia Canary installed. And whilst we're on this page, let's just change the theme. I'm going to go for dark. I just left click on Xenia settings and left click on settings again. Under Xenia selector, we can now select either Xenia stable or Canary. So both of these emulators have got different results for different games. And if I go to Xenia settings again, what we can do just here is go to the top and we can actually select the game from here, Perfect Dark Zero, save changes. If we go to Xenia settings, we're gonna want to open our 360 games in full screen. So just make sure under display settings, just left click on full screen, make sure that one's on. Just make sure vertical sync is on as well, that'll reduce screen tear. Now for this, what I'm doing is pressing my page down button on my keyboard, and this is gonna bring us to graphical settings. So we've got a range of different video options just here. We've got anti-aliasing, so we can select FXAA or FXAA Extreme. So just be mindful if you've got a lower end computer, by applying particular settings here, your games might begin to lag. We also got scaling and sharpening. So if I just drop this down, we got Fidelity FX and AMD FSR. I'm going to just leave this to default or bilinear. 
And if I continue to use my page down button, you're going to find many more options just there, which you can look through at your own leisure. Just remember, once you've selected particular options, just go to save changes at the top so everything's saved. Now, if you find you've applied settings and things aren't working correctly, and you're not sure where you are, just go to settings and simply go to reset configuration. And I'm going to just go select stable just here. And there we go. The configuration has been repaired. Now, if you find your controller isn't working, what we can do is go to user input settings and you can change this over to a different API. So for me, any works just fine. I'm using an Xbox controller for this. So anyways, let's actually open up my game. So if I go back to home and I'm just going to left click on that one. And as we can see, that's now opened in window mode. And the reason that is, is because I've reset my settings. Watch yourself, Joe. You're on data to dine property now. Our employer wants you to break in. Undetected. Mega corporations don't take kindly to intruders. Security is tight. Cameras, laser tripwires. Nothing you can't deal with, but I'm on hand just in case. Let's start with that spider bot up there. It's locked down the door for repair. Now, as you've seen in that gameplay video, the game totally frozen. So what's happened there is because I'm using one particular version of Xenia, it's obviously not compatible with this. So what I'm actually going to do is go to settings, Xenia selector, and I'm going to drop this one down to stable. And if I then go to open up the game again. with that spider bot up there. It's locked down the door for repairs. No time to hang about. Shoot it and get out. What? Got one. And the other. Okay, get going. Single laser tripwire. Crouch and sneak beneath it. <laughs> I thought security was gonna be tight. You're kidding. All this security just to protect the wooden crate? Whatever. Smash him up and get to the door. Only way in is through that sensor field. Dive through it. You'll be okay. And that's it for today's Xenia Manager setup guide for Windows PC. So before I wrap up this video, just remember that Xenia Stable and Xenia Canary are nowhere near the perfection or polish of something like RPCS3. But having said that, Xenia, Stable and Canary will run particular games really well. For example, Perfect Dark Zero. Anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. Also join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.